Here's the next model that I'm going to show in the later sections of this video. I call him Ninja Boy. And since it's a new model, I figured I'd show him in Maya. So I'll just do a quick turnaround. And he's got nice bright colors, which I like. I guess I'll show the, uh, the mesh. So he's about 1,500 triangles. So in the next section of this video, I'm just going to show some odds and ends of things I've been working on and some ideas that I'm trying. And uh, that'll come by in the later sections of the video. All right. In this video, I show the ninja character sort of running in a preliminary test level. This is one of the camera angles that I've chosen for the game. I'll show another one, which is slightly steeper, but I don't think it'll make a difference. And here he's running through his run animations. One of the changes I did is I added a blob shadow. I don't know what I'm going to go with, maybe the real-time shadows or the blob shadow that I'm showing here. So that's still to be decided. It seems casual players don't understand real-time shadows and they were always questioning what is that at the bottom of his feet but they seem to understand blob shadows so I'll decide later which one I'll go with or maybe both and also in the distance you can see here the I wrote a little curve shader that will curve the world in the distance so it'll give it hopefully a unique look there's a lot of games that do this so I worked out some ideas on how it would work and uh, yeah it looks fairly good and below here you can see the character he's ra randomly running through uh, three run animations which he'll be running through in the game and this time I moved it from I used to have this running in scripting code and now I just have a character controller that runs this in C++ I'd figure I just write the character controller in C++ because there's nothing that a scripter would be uh, modifying script wise for this and uh, next I'll show the character with the real-time shadows again and the steeper camera angle which pr probably won't show up in this video but that's what I'm going to show in the next section of this video here's the character with the real-time shadows enabled and also the slightly steeper camera angle which probably isn't noticeable in this video but I probably may put that as an option where the player can pick the other camera angle I can't decide between which one is better or when the level is fleshed out more I can finally decide what to pick and with the shadows these are the shadows that confuse the casual players I've gotten comments from is that a reflection or can I play the ghost and when I finally asked what the ghost was, is the response was the dark ghost that follows under follows the character. So that's why I put the blob shadows in. I I haven't yet decided which one I'm going to use. Or perhaps again I'll have an option where you you can pick either one. That probably might be the best thing to do. The thing I like about the blob shadows is it draws more attention to the character since it's simpler, whereas I guess with the traditional shadows that I'm doing here, your your mind may get directed to the shadow. But again, the beauty of the real-time shadows is it, it really shows the character grounded with the rest of the scene. So there's there's that, that advantage to it. But on another topic, the good thing about writing an engine that's based out of components that are independent of each other, it's very easy for me to switch between them. I just instantiate the um, blob shadow manager, set a pointer to it, and then the rest of the engine just works without any changes of any kind. And if I want to go back, I just switch back to the cascaded shadow map manager that I have. And since each one of these is a, a plug it and play component that I can put in, I don't need to modify any code or no other parts of the engine are aware of what type of shadow implementation that I'm using so 
is fairly flexible in that regard. So if I want to have a third technique for rendering shadows, I can create a new component for that, plug it in, and it'll just work without me having to worry about how it interacts with all the other engine components that I have. So that's uh, what I have to show pretty much. Probably the next video that I'm going to do, I'll have the character actually running. As you can see, he's still stationary. I would have done the video with him moving, but I got delayed because there was some stuttering that I noticed when I was playing the game. And uh, it seems it's nothing that I can control. It just happens every once in a while. The iPhone just misses, misses a frame. I looked through my code. There's nothing wrong with what I've done. I even rendered the world out without rendering any geometry, just, you know, just running through the the engine without rendering anything and then just swapping the frame buffer and you still will get the stutters. And so it's not something that I can easily fix. What I did do is I did something called frame smoothing where I take a running average of all the frame times that have passed. And if there's any hiccups, I can sort of minimize the uh, the disturbance that happens when I miss a frame. Also, that I I checked um, a lot of the Apple demos for um, for metal, the Metal API, and um, it's funny they also miss frames because I thought oh it must be something that I've done and no the Apple demos every once in a while they'll miss a frame. It doesn't happen often, but you know it's still it's still there, and still not convinced. I downloaded some demos from Metal by Example, and. It, his demos also do the same thing, so I think it's just, uh, you know, the the phone. It has other things to deal with, so it decides I'm not going to uh, notify you that it's ready time to render a frame. And if you play other games, you'll also notice, you'll see hiccups here and there playing games, so I think it's probably uh, just a common occurrence with uh, the iPhone, I guess. I'm using the iPhone 5, maybe the iPhone 6 is more powerful and you won't get the hiccups. But till next time, that's all I have to show. Thanks and bye.